What's up everyone? This is Fansack91, back once again for some more Let's Play Digimon World 2. In the last part we took care of the Giga Domain, and we managed to rescue... rescue... Chichimon. In this part we're gonna try and finish off Scan Domain, and see if we can get any further into our adventure. Now I believe that I should just do what I did in the last part and just go through the whole domain and show off any Digimon that haven't already that haven't already been seen. Otherwise we're gonna be wasting a lot of time, so. Oh and by the way, this place has 14 floors! So yeah, I'm gonna be saving a lot of time by doing this, so. Fast forwarding now.
the f the 14th floor, and my god, that took forever. And here I can actually start talking about all the new Digimon that have been shown. As you can see, Mega Kabuterimon is one of them. And he also comes with Mesoteranamon and Aerovidramon. Even though that is not the correct color for Mega Kabuterimon, he should be, in fact, red. Well, that's only if you want to follow the show instead of, you know, the games. And also, there was a Kuamon, uh, Blue Marimon, I think we may have seen him before, I'm not too keen on that. And Okuamon. Oh god, here we go again. <laughs> Actually, quite surprised that every single battle I went went into pretty much got me away scot free. I never had to fight anyone. And my God, that red acid terrain really takes it out of your digi beetle. <laughs> it takes a lot out. But let's go for the boss, who is just another commander. Uh huh. It's not starting to sound like broken records when I start kicking your guys' asses. It's not... It's not getting any better for them. Alright, bosses, Kibimon, Pumpkinmon, and Woodmon. I'd say go for Pump... For, uh, not Pumpkinmon. Go for Woodmon first, considering he can actually heal himself with the twig tap technique. And you don't want that to go on forever. So it's best to take him out first. As for Pumpkinmon, he has actually two techniques. His regular technique called Trick or Treat, and he also has Togemon's attack called Needle Spray. When attacked, when, well it's a counter move, so when, when he gets hit, it basically inflicts poison on you. And believe it or not, this is probably the least threatening boss that we have ever had to fight in all of, uh, all of File Island's domains. So, this is probably where you want to start out first. Although there are tons of ultimates in the area, so... Really, it's up to you. Okay. Let's continue with the Magical Tale. Got a strategy that works, abuse it to death. And uh, Kiwimon Kiwi just knows Pummel Peck, and that's it. So there's nothing too keen on Kiwimon. Oddly enough, Pumpkinmon is actually quite weak in this fight. And you'll see what I mean once we get to him, which won't be for a little bit. I think that Woodmon has at least one or two more rounds left in him. Considering the non-stop healing. It's annoying once an enemy uses it, but when you use it, it's, it's like a godsend. And everyone's starting to miss. But once you lower the defense, it just becomes... Just a waiting game. In this fight, Crimson Claw is actually really, really effective. Especially against Pumpkin Mom. I did a little practice run of this like a few minutes ago, so I already know what was going through all of this. It was no surprise to me. And all in all, Pokemon's the definitely the least of the worries. Pokemon is kind of there, but really it's nothing. And Wimon is dead. Trick or treat doesn't do all that much damage, it's really up to 30. It's not that big of a deal. 
now we can start assault on him, since, you know, he's the second most threatening thing out of the whole bunch. Hopefully Suzaku won't move, won't miss using. Okay, he won't. Way to cut me off, asshole! But here's where the real damage starts bringing in. I don't mean from pump. I don't mean from pump pumpkin line. Uh, being poisoned is not that big of a deal, especially for ultimates with over 250 HP. Okay, will he do it? Will he do that much damage again? Uh, no, maybe I gotta do it. Do you ask Scissor Claw again? But I thought it didn't layer. Some things about some things about the game I don't even know. But I'm supposed to be a somewhat expert on the subject. Okay, let's take one of those HP drivers I got through the domain and slap that on. And I believe that it's a guarantee that I will level up after this fight so I can finally get that HP recovery move for Darren. And it recovers a lot for HP uh, recovery discs. Definitely want to keep those as a last resort. Or if you just want to heal everyone up to the max. I'm not even going to bother trying to heal up their poison. Because I don't think I have any antidotes for one thing. And also, I don't want to bother wasting an EX driver. It's not really worth it. It only takes out, like, what, 10 HP a turn? It's not exactly threatening. Huh? Oh, over two, over a hundred. Something at least. Yeah, at this rate, Kiwamon's probably gonna be quaking in his right now. Yeah, Pumpkin Mod's not gonna make it past this turn. His only hope is that all my guys miss, and that's statistically impossible. Right there, for one. Maybe it does stack. And I doubt that the poison effect will stack. It's not even Infecting him anymore, considering he's already infected. Smack in the face. Yeah, he's done. This is gonna sting. It's weird. In my practice run, when he got his defense dropped, he did over over uh, 140 attack, which is quite a lot for this stage. And I was using Crimson Claw. So maybe it just... Maybe it just, uh... Depends on several factors. But yeah, since Kiwamon's the last one, he's not gonna be lasting too much longer. That weak attack is all he's got. And at this state in the game, a champion going up against three ultimates, it's going to be quite the short bout, to say the least. Especially when they're dealing out at least 70, 70 plus a turn. Yeah, let's change up. Use, use Royal Smasher, Gate Blaster, and continue using Crimson Claw, because that's pretty much the strongest thing you've got. still find that's awkward. And that should be a strongest attack, and yet it does that little. I don't want to hear about your little P.E.K.K.A. Smooth, Daramon. Moron. Why can't you be more like Giga Dramon? Dishing out that 70 a turn. Alright, this is the last turn. He's not gonna make it past this part. And just for 
Scraps and Giggles, might as well just change it up for this last turn. Just, a, just about the same amount of damage as the Magical Tail. And goodbye. That's all she wrote. Okay, finally got HP recovery. Screw you, small HP cure. I am going and replacing you with that one. Hornbuster. I'm gonna get rid of Wing Blade. Since all that does is just interrupt with damage, this interrupts and lowers power greatly. So Wing Blade's kinda useless. Why do I even have... Oh, why not? And Wing Blade. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that'll work. And that's all the domains that we... <laughs> that were on the map. Which pretty much means we're done. I wonder if Gigi Mon's learned anything since we left. What's up, MT? Good thing I didn't have to fight against him. Take forever to move your ass. You're like King Zor, for Christ's sake. Hey, Gigimon. Ooh, you know how to get inside now. My guess is that you have to clear all, all the domains before he remembers. Three Chaos Rings. Where have I heard that before? Probably from a god-awful Wii game. Nice. An adamantium core, which is the last upgrade for your Digi Beetle. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a problem. As with the last body, you actually have to have a a uh, engine that the new body will be able to take, which means we need an adamantium engine. What the hell is this? Sure, leave everything. Why would he? Never mind. Let's go back to Gigi Mons and hello, who's the lady? Odd. Oh great, she's catatonic. <laughs> no, instead she's an amnesiac. Can we have one RPG without one of those, please? And her name is Estina. I don't think she really gets fleshed out all that well in the game, though, so it's kind of disappointing. Not a bad character, it's just kind of... There. Well, you guys have fun. I gotta go risk my ass again. Don't worry. They won't get the best of me. So now, as you can see, we got three new domains. Patch, Mega, and Data. And inside these are the Chaos Generals, who are holding the Chaos Rings. Without those, we wouldn't be able to get into the soft domain. Uh, let's just take a sneak peek at Patch first. Because I really have no idea how much... Holy hell, it's new music! Finally. Since we need... We really should know what we're up against. Uh, so far, it's not too appealing. I really don't know how much time I have, considering I have to uh, speed up most of the video. But we 
I'm going a few floors. See what's really lurking inside. Obviously, the champions are going to be in too much trouble. And since we have HP recovery, no. Hey, Pokemon! Get away from me, you freak show! Oh. oh god. Definitely one of the things I have to be doing off screen is grinding because that engine is gonna take forever to obtain. I believe it's worth like uh, 80, 80,000 bits, and I only have like 20. So it's gonna be a long, long time. And chances are I'm probably gonna have going to be having different Digimon in my party as a result of all the training. So, keep that in mind when waiting for the next part to come out. So far, not all that different from the domain I was just in. Kind of disappointing. And I hope to god this one doesn't have 14 effing floors like the last one I just went in. My god, that took forever. Okay, I'm seeing no bit of difference here, so going back. I doubt that that I doubt that uh, these domains are gonna be in much trouble. I'm pretty sure that if any of them have Mega Digimon, I'm pretty sure there are only gonna be a couple of them, and that's mostly gonna be Ultimates for all, a big chunk of it. So, I think I'm going to stop right here, and next time in Let's Play Digimon World 2, I will have trained, got myself another battery, not battery, engine, and then we'll go install the Adamantium Core, and I'll also have new Digimon, because I will have trained these guys a lot. It's going to be a while before I get back into this because of all the grinding, but I'll see you guys next time. Peace out!